Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. So these questions are all about breast bumps. Okay, first question. Hi, I have a question. It's actually about my girlfriend, but I don't think she could ever bring it up. She's 16, and I've noticed something that worries me. In both of her breasts, there are lumps in the upper area. There hasn't really been any changes as far as I've felt for the past two years. Way to be diligent. Um, they can be moved around, relatively speaking. They always return to the same spot and don't move freely. She says it doesn't hurt when I am touching them, and I don't really want to bring it up with her. Is this normal, or does it sound dangerous? Okay, so I think it's really lovely that you're writing with concerns about your girlfriend's breasts. I think that's really sweet. Um, I would encourage you to talk to her about this. It's okay. It's nothing for her to be embarrassed about, and nothing for you to be embarrassed about. That being said, just to give you some peace of mind, Breasts change a lot as they are developing and growing. And for a young person, 16 year old, it is very common to have lumps and bumps that kind of come and go, although it sounds like these have been there for a while. Um, so that's, that's very reassuring that they've been there, that there hasn't been anything concerning. Every person's breast tissue is going to be a little bit different. And so it's going to be important for her to get to know her own breast tissue, but that could be the type of breast tissue that she has. There are lots of things that cause lumps and bumps in a breast, like fiber bundles or cysts. Um, so don't be too concerned for her, but I think it's sweet that you wrote, and I think it would be lovely if you brought it up with her, but that's just my thought. For you, I wouldn't worry about it. Question number two. Is it possible for teenagers to get breast cancer? So that's the big question, is if these lumps are breast cancer. The fact is that breast cancer is incredibly rare for teenagers, whatever your gender. The likelihood of a lump or a bump in a breast that it's breast cancer is very, very low. It's very likely more going to be something like fibrocystic in nature. So either fiber bundles or cystic changes. So it's, it's pretty darn uncommon. Don't be too worried. Question number three. What to do when you're young and have cysts in both your boobs? So if you know that you have cysts, I would suspect that you've already had a doctor tell you you have cysts. And the way that we usually know for sure is you take an ultrasound um, or a machine that looks through your breast tissue and you can see that cysts are going to be little fluid filled sacs. And they're actually, they're very common. Now, especially for teenagers, cysts are going to change depending on where you are in your menstrual cycle. And so we can see cysts pop up and then two months later they totally go away. Uh, they might pop up in another place. So what I would recommend for you, if you already know that you have cysts, is to do a monthly breast exam. And the best time to do that is usually right after your period, just because it's something that you can easily remember. Oh, I had my period, I gotta do my breast exam. But that would be the biggest recommendation, just monitoring where those cysts are and if they're changing or moving. Then if you do notice a cyst that is either growing or becomes firm or fixed and you can't move it around, or if it's painful, those would be reasons that you would go to a doctor. But it's very common for teenagers to get cysts that pop up and then go away. So a uh, monthly breast exam would be my biggest recommendation for you. How do we do a breast exam? So the most common way is going to be, we usually say in the shower just because you can move your hand around your skin very freely. But the way you usually do it is you lift up your arm. And why do we do that? Is because your breast tissue actually extends up into your armpit. It's kind of like a teardrop. <clears throat> like that. You actually have breast tissue that goes all the way up close to your armpit. And so when you are doing your breast exam, it's a good idea to, to feel up there 
in that area just to see if you notice any lumps or bumps. And then there are a couple different ways that people usually recommend doing a breast exam. One, in a circular pattern. So you kind of just trace around in a circle, covering the whole area. Or two, in an up and down, up and down, up and down, just so you cover the whole area, okay? And you usually want to use two or three fingers and just kind of rotate them gently. Rotate while palpating. Push down, push down, push down, push down. That's how you do it. Feel it for anything new or funky. The other point is obviously if this hand is up here, you got to be using this hand. So you use the opposite hand for the opposite breast. All right, question number four. When should a teenage girl get her first gynecological exam and breast exam? So the difference between a gynecological exam and then a breast exam is going to be, I think what you're suggesting is a pap smear. Um, and that's going to be where a doctor takes a speculum and looks in your vagina. That's not necessarily the topic of this um, episode, but that doesn't happen until you're 21. The breast exam, on the other hand, is really going to depend on your doctor. Now, for me personally, I like to talk about it with the young person when they're entering puberty and when they notice some breast development. Um, but usually once that breast tissue has fully formed, it's a good idea for a doctor to kind of cover how to do a breast exam. But it's going to vary from doctor to doctor. And if you ever have any questions, you can certainly ask and say, could you show me how to do a breast exam or tell me a little bit more about it? But usually it's going to be after puberty is completed, although feeling while puberty is happening is certainly, there can be reasons for that as well. So, um, puberty, breast development. Question number five. I have a weird thing in my breast and I don't know what it is and it's kind of scaring me. My mom isn't quite sure either. She thinks it's a pimple, but it doesn't look like a pimple. And my breast has been starting to ache and it hurts really badly. I'm sorry. Um, so, I hope by the time you see this and by the time I post this, you've gotten it figured out. But for anyone who's listening, it's possible for your breasts to actually get plugged up um, or breast tissue to get plugged up and you can get little clogged ducts and sometimes those ducts can get infected. So um, if you do notice a little nodule and it's a little tender or painful, um, you might also notice some redness over the skin. The thing to do would be to try to do some warm compresses, what we say holding like a warm pack over your breast to try to relieve some of the clogged part of it and help that fluid kind of get out of that clogged duct. If you notice the redness and some pus-like discharge from a nipple or if you're having fevers or if it's really tender, certainly go see a doctor. But you can try to open things up on your own at home by using a warm compress. All right, that'll do it for this round of breast bumps. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.